Mel's on the MIC. Show some R E S P I C T. It's today's R B and Throwbacks. Mike is 1031. Mel's on the MIC. Jamming on the J O B. Got a very special guest in the studio with me. He's going to be performing tonight at the Colleen Orton Activity Center for the first anniversary of the comedy pop up series. And uh, you've seen his brother on Last Comic Standing everywhere on your TV. It's a pleasure to have him in the studio with me. And I got to talk to And this is my second time talking to you, actually. I uh, got to do a phone interview with you a few years ago. Uh, uh, Lavelle Crawford. I remember that. I remember that. Yeah. I remember you was on the phone. Yeah. And I talked to you. Yeah. I remember that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure you do. <laughs> What's going on, brother? How you been, man? Man, good to be back here in Temple. This is where Jesus was born. <laughs> it's nice to be in Temple, Texas. This is exactly where Jesus was be at where people are allowed to carry firearms to protect the Lord. Yes, sir. Yes, yes sir. sir. Yes, it yes. is. <laughs> it's good to be here. We down here. This is the first anniversary of the pop-up comedy show. You know, when you have one year, it should it be an anniversary? It just, you know, you should do about five and then have an anniversary. I, that's why I kind of agree with two. I told but you know, hey, you know, we don't know. I, you know, black folk got to have anniversary. Right. You can't, you know, two-day anniversary. You know, we're still <laughs> doing it. You know, <laughs> you got to celebrate every day. Every day is a celebration, though. Yeah. And this is pop-up comedy. I popped up right here. Popped you, up. You really popped up. I, I, I know. I popped in laying like a pimple. <laughs> <laughs> and you also got some uh, some uh, guest comedians with you as well. These brothers going to be performing with you as well. Well, only one of them was a comedian. The other dude came down here just in case CH ain't got the money. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> You need yeah. that. You yeah. need that. <laughs> First time I met him. It's one year anniversary. We, we, uh, we, uh, we praying for two. <laughs> All right. I got you. <laughs> he got different aliens. He's CH. He's, you know, this other name on the phone. I ain't know who the hell it was. I got scared. <laughs> iPhone tell all your business. See, right. you, can't, you can't hide nothing from iPhone. You think you call him an alien number and put that number in there. Right. You listen to his ass grant. You know, and I thought he was dead. You know, <laughs> iPhone know all your business. You can't hide from my phone, but white folks know how people call me from my number, and I picked up the phone, uh -huh. and it was a bill collector talking about I owe seven hundred dollars on my Sprint phone. I ain't had a Sprint phone in like, <laughs> like six years, <laughs> but they talking about I owe this bill. They finally got up with me. I'm like, how you get up with me? I ain't, how you call me? And I answered me. Why well, I'm so dumb? I said, why would I be calling myself? But I go go hello. <laughs> you answer, dumbass. <laughs> you can yeah. take. Uh, yeah, go ahead. But I got young young Isaiah Kelly. He's a comedy prodigy. He did comedy at 12, at 12 years old. And he's here with me. And, you uh, call him the Michael Jackson of comedy. Like, he said his daddy beat him right before he go on stage. <laughs> First time I'm hearing about it, but it, it sounds exciting. <laughs> it, it, they always thought Beatty was all about running from game, but Michael Jackson knew what he was talking about. Hell yeah. <laughs> Daddy, Daddy was beating it every night before he get on stage. That's why he learned how to moonwalk. You know? He was sliding backwards to get out of there. Come here, boy, but he was moving backwards at the same time. <laughs> Joe had a belt on him, God rest his soul. He beating angels behind in heaven. Right now, right, right now. Right now, angels heaven, in heaven, right now. Angels is on tune right now and getting they beat in. He's an Alan the Angelic Choir. <laughs> Prince probably getting some of that too while you're playing. Yeah, Prince getting his butt with <laughs> Prince up there. <laughs> I don't know if Prince is in heaven though. He's nasty. I don't know. He might be. I don't know. Nah. Might, you know, all talented singers may go to hell because they did a lot of nasty stuff. Yeah, yeah. Rick James ain't no way in heaven. But <laughs> ain't no way. He do, they do get to go out there for Jesus Fest. They have a big old okay. concert. They, they get to go out there for every, every, every millennium. They get to go out there for Jesus Fest and party, party with Jesus. And then they got to go back to hell. Sorry, right, fellas. You ain't got to go, but you got to get the hell out. Out of here. Right. And I do mean the hell out of here. <laughs> Don't forget Lavelle Crawford tonight at the Khalid Orton Activity Center. Uh, they can still get tickets at popupseatengine.com. Go to that website right now. Get your tickets. You don't want to miss the show tonight. And uh, what's been going on, brother? What you been up to lately, man, besides uh, working? Uh, man, yeah, yeah, well, just doing that. Uh, being on Better Call Saul, you know. Okay. You, uh, uh, it's a... a a spinoff spin of, uh, of yeah. Breaking Bad, and okay. uh, it's like a prequel, so, you know, I lost a few pounds, so they had to change up, so it looked cool, you know, and it's fun uh, with uh, doing that, that series, man, uh, and it's exciting. They showing how, why he hired me and everything, you know. So I got a couple movies I'm about to shoot called Drunk Bus, uh, one with the young girl from Miss Sunshine. Got another one with Channel Tatum, Channel Tatum okay. coming out soon uh, after we get uh, feminine, but I'm uh, just doing it. But this is real exciting to me to do this show 
with this young man because I'll be in Houston the rest of the weekend. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. But we came down, it's a pop up, you know, comedy. I joke with him, but, but he's doing some interesting stuff because, you know, if an entertainer got an off day, right. you know, he could just pop up in the city where the cities don't get comedy all the time. Exactly. Celine, you don't get it all the time. Hell, I wouldn't even come down here too because it's close to Wacko. You know? <laughs> and if you go through Wacko, you're going to lose your mind and want to start some killing. <laughs> You know, you know, so, 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 yeah. Facts. You know, so you might as well come on out and have a good time, Fort Hood, all the places around Austin, if you can get down here, you know, come on down, even people from Wacko, come on down, have a good time with us, man, we down here, Temple, you more than welcome, you know, get done praying. <laughs> Come on down. I mean, you know, because I mean, you know, live comedy is, is the best. You right. Know? Uh-huh. I mean, you know, there's a lot of talented comedians out here, but, you know, I'm grassroots. I'm old school. You Absolutely. know, I, I started in the heart and the bar and grills and, and the dangerous places where you had to be funny and you weren't getting your check. Right. I think my man Earthquake was just talking about it. They they go off how funny your butt was with that week when you get your check. Absolutely. You know, them places you had to be hilarious. You weren't doing no, and no offense to internet comedians because, you know, black comedians, I I look at it like one thing about you know i hear a lot of comedians hey, them internet comedians they out here getting to work i mean they're gonna learn black people one thing about black people we don't never get a free ride right uh, no matter what if you get in fast the front door it's gonna be hard on that back door absolutely you know it just ain't no you name a black person right now they got an easy ride all of them go through some kind of car. look at bill Cobb. right he waited till he 81 years old now he in there giving up that uh that booty in jail. <laughs> he anyway, eighty years old. He, you know, and but I don't even. I, I feel bad for him, but it, well, you know, the women should be be judged too. Right. Because I know after this third half of it, you know, don't bring your own drink. You know, somebody should have said bring their own drink. Right. You right. should just walk. It's B Y O B. Right. You know, girl, if you get thirsty, get you a water bottle when you walk in and hold it, <laughs> hold it the whole time, hold it. Then somebody should have said something. But you know, but I mean, when that comedy game. Came out, black comedians don't have that venue. They took out Comedy View. Def Jam ain't what it was because Russell Simmons was doing Bill Cosby. Right. You know, so, right. so you know, you got to look at where. Allegedly. Where, allegedly. Uh, yeah, well, you allegedly. know, I mean, he stepped down, so ain't no leg. <laughs> he stepped but off I'm, that I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not pooping on nobody because it could happen to anybody. But what I'm saying about the comedy game. Right. You know, comedians. Black comedians, I you know, we don't have too many venues. You right, know, we right. don't, they got Comedy Central where we got to go in and then put on clown face to be mm-hmm. funny. They don't have nothing because we have an audience. Everybody else get their audience. We don't get ours. And I'm not saying it being pro-black because I got uh, fans. I got white fans, Asian fans, whoever. Yeah, because I was going to say, I mean, one of the avenues you used to get to get more exposure was Last Comic Standing, which is not necessarily a, a black comedy Well, that's thing. just one. I use every one of them because right. I started on Comic View. You right. know, I mean, they wouldn't lie. I just luckily got on Last Comic Standing and they did it, brother, hard and wrong. Okay. And I didn't win. Okay. I didn't. You understand what <laughs> right, I said? Right, right. I came out hard. Right, that's exactly right. what You're going to bring it up again. Thanks for making up I'm sorry. I'm sudden. sorry. I'm sorry. No, I'm sorry. But I, no, I, I, I appreciate every... Uh, I, 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 Every option I got. Right. You know, and you got to go through, you know, and it's the thing about learning, learning to trade everywhere you go. Mm-hmm. You know, and, and the thing about it is I appreciate all my fans, no matter what color you are. It ain't the color. It's just the thing about, you know, urban comics mm-hmm. don't have a venue all the time. And you're my man, uh, CH, over here. Right. He uh he does a pop-up comedy. That's cool. You get, you know, you, you know we still got comedy night. Right. But we don't have, like, a comedy show so when people was talking about the internet comedian i couldn't diss them mm-hmm, i mm-hmm. think that they should do stand up on video right they should take you know bring stand up on video onto the instagram don't just do your skits mm-hmm. be your stand up video on there let's see how funny you is on that stage right because that's where we where, where it's gonna find out because you get on that stage and your ass went away <laughs> they're gonna be like oh Hey, brother, stick to Instagram. <laughs> That's I mean, true. But, but, uh, but, you know, I'm excited. I, I'm glad to be here. Colleen, I don't dog. I ain't no city little. Ain't no money little. It's just little when I'm running out of it. Right. You know, <laughs> and, but I mean, but we here to have fun, have a great time. I hope y'all come out tonight. I know y'all you're going to be packed in that house. We got a nice little venue here. So I'm here, man. No I'm doubt. here. Lavelle Crawford. Yes, Lee Lavelle Crawford is in your city. Last time I was here, I was at the... 
Uh, laugh lounge. Is laughing that, up comedy lounge. Is that it? Yes. Uh -huh. Here we correcting you. I said lounge. I mean, <laughs> I, I, I was close. <laughs> I'm just trying to help you out. Just trying to help you out. They, they, they still open? No. Okay. <laughs> See what I'm saying? That's why you got to celebrate one year anniversary. Right. Right. That's why you celebrate because you never know. You they, never know. You never they, know. They were open just a year. Right. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're absolutely right. <laughs> it's uh, <laughs> it's Lavelle <laughs> Crawford. He's live here tonight at the Clean Arts and Activity Center. It is the comedy pop-up series. A first year anniversary. Big show tonight, man. Get your tickets now. Pop up dot seat engine. Well, you gotta change your handle. That's just hard to say. Yeah, I know, right? I mean, it's like, you know, saying super califragile. You might as well say pop up. Dot com. <laughs> you gotta tell black folks too. Sell them again. Right. <laughs> come on, hurry up. Come on. Uh, come on. Because <laughs> you know, somebody, hold on. What did he say? <laughs> sure, bring me another pencil. <laughs> well, well, hold on. You pop up. You, you, is that two P's? <laughs> it's P O P U P. Dot C engine. Three P's. <laughs> no, it's not E body. Spelled okay. Uh, Lavelle Crawford in the building. Go ahead and get the social yeah. media out at the folks that they won't follow you on that all Twitter right. and that Instagram. If you do all that, Twitter, uh, Instagram, and Twitter are basically the same. Instagram is Lavelle's L A V E L L S T H A C O M I C. That's Lavelle the comic dot com. And also is on Twitter the same thing, no S Lavelle the comic C O M I C. And it's comedian Lavelle Crawford on uh, Facebook. And you can go to my uh. My uh, website, comedian, LavelleCrawford.com. Basically, real easy, you know, seed engine and nothing. Right. It's Lavelle. <laughs> <laughs> it's just the comedian, Lavelle Crawford. I'm a comedian. <laughs> LavelleCrawford.com. Gotcha. If you can't spell it, it's not .com, then you're going to another channel, and I'm not on that. Right. Please not let me be on that. .com is not where I want to be. <laughs> no, you don't want you on that, brother. Only with my wife. <laughs> no doubt, no doubt. Well, thank, right. well, thank you for stopping through, man. Thank I really you, do appreciate it, man. Thank LaVelle you, Crawford, uh, go get your tickets now. Pop up dot seat engine dot com go to the website and we'll see you tonight at the clean arts and activity center man we appreciate you brother thank you so much for thank stopping you, through man. today's r&b and throwbacks my kiss 1031